Hey, how's it going? So today I'm gonna be talking about 1000 of savings. Uh, okay, uh, we're gonna be looking at statistics. Uh, the amount of savings, uh, how much individuals can have, can vary widely depending on many factors, which uh, I personally believe is worth mentioning. Some of those factors can be uh, the income age, location, and overall financial goals. Savings by age. Generally, younger individuals, uh, those just starting their careers, tend to have lower savings, often close to zero. As people uh, progress into their careers and approach retirement, they may have accumulated more substantial savings, or at least that should be their goal. Income level, people with higher incomes tend to have more savings than those with lower incomes. High incomes, individuals can save larger portions of their overall earnings or larger percentage, right? So let's focus on percentage and perhaps overall st sticking to percentage of uh, allocating 10%. Uh, just getting into a habit of doing that would be greatly beneficial for everyone. Uh, location is an important factor. Uh, the cost of living varies by location. People in high cost of living areas may find it more challenging to save money compared to those in lower cost areas. As well as how much percentage. So uh, I think there's even a loss in some places within UK of uh, some people paying about a uh, fifth over or even if they allow it. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about all the laws themselves, but uh, I think they cannot pay more than 50% or that's... <laughs> uh, they're changing all those laws all the time, right? So perhaps there's uh, another factor to consider if you paying 50% of your income for rent, if that's optimal. Uh, should that be worth factor, right? <laughs> but either way, perhaps reducing in that, uh, uh, perhaps uh, working, uh, finding options to work from distance, perhaps is something worth mentioning when you not necessarily need to be uh, working locally. Uh, we're talking about places like London, where cost of living can increase dramatically. By 40% or so, right? Economic conditions. Economic conditions such as recessions or economic booms can influence saving uh, savings rates. Either way, you should stick to saving 10%. And uh, <laughs> if you would work with that formula, that should overcome some of the obstacles, booms and busts, right? So 100% uh, I need to drive this uh, factor all the way home so people are understanding it. During economic downturns, people may struggle to save, while during prosperous times, they may have saved more. I have tried it. I have tried it to so put aside 200 or 300, but that, I would recommend to stick to a percentage, right? Instead of doing that, stick to a percentage. So that would be save perhaps 70, 10, 10, 10, right? So how much money and allocating and stick, sticking to that formula, that would work in the long term. Financial education, financial literacy and knowledge about personal finance can also impact savings. Those with better understanding of money management are often more successful at saving. If anything, I can recommend uh, some of the books. I'll try to cover those. It might be worth covering one of the uh, uh, more advanced books uh, today even. So either way, I have to cover some of the books already that are their basic level and from basic progress in more uh, advanced, more advanced, more advanced books because some of the uh, some of those books out there uh, might be too complex for some other people to understand. If anything, uh, when it comes to financial education, I would highly recommend to start with a dictionary and from dictionary progress into studying some of that work and uh, literacy and overall understanding of financial statements, uh, working into overall finances, investments. It can be very complex and daunting tasks. Emergency savings is just something worth pointing out. Uh, I covered that already, but just uh, people tend to, especially younger adults, tend to overlook uh, this particular factor. Uh, I have found 
the saving statistics. I published work on current situation, but I'm not entirely sure if that's limited to UK, these findings. These findings are looking at 2023 and uh, performance of most of the individuals we haven't even finished for the year. So I don't know how accurate those statistics are, right? So just take it, take it as <laughs> they are, I guess. But either way, the, the comparing to you, some of the findings in the US, are they very similar? So it's not necessarily limited to UK, that's overall performance and perhaps a broader way of thinking of how to approach uh, certain situations in life. And no savings. In 2003, 23% of the Brits had no savings at all. This percentage increased from 20% in the previous year. So there was, uh, this year is 23, where last year was 20%. Fifth of all the people that you would find on the street or whatever, on the pub, in a club or in a workplace, every fifth person, just to put in the comparison, so it would be easier to understand, every fifth person not necessarily have any savings at all. So it just it should be a warning factor, I guess. <laughs> you never know what economy would uh, to turn to, right? So having at least some savings, it's uh, always a good option to, uh, to think or have a budget like that. Something to, uh, worth mentioning. Limited savings, half for Brits or 50% have 1,000 or less in savings, right? So some of the people might have access to uh, credit and they're not necessarily worried that much about is that credit line that they might open, is that might be even higher than 1,000, so that most of the people perhaps, and their people, <laughs> especially younger adults, myself included, Perhaps, uh, especially back in the day, the way how I would think about it, if I would have access to it if needed, uh, but it's not the same thing, right? So half a percent, so every second person would have 1,000 or less in savings. If anything, let's take a look at limited financial resilience. So any takeaways from today's video would be perhaps uh, something that most of the people should focus on. Of around 27 million people would not be able in, in the UK uh, not be able to rely on their savings for more than one month uh, and we should focus on increasing that from one month uh, or to say the least uh, six months of savings so that's where all the people should be uh, or at least that's the time frame that everyone should aim for to have savings or buffer for at least six months. Once you have developed a plan, try to stick to, to that plan, whatever plan that might be. Uh, I have published a journal. In this journal, you can document your time as well as optimizing your time, making most of your time, 24 hours, and how you can potentially make most of those 24 hours in a day. I have highlighted some of the areas which I personally believe are very important. That would be perhaps motivation, if you need uh, some uh, words of motivation or good quotes to start your day, as well as perhaps dictionary and improve your financial understanding from there, progressing into perhaps key areas. Uh, that would be what areas you would define for yourself, what you're looking to accomplish every single day, and uh, looking at physical activity as well as your professional or personal goals. And uh, some of those areas that I personally believe everyone should focus on. You can find this in the uh, description below as well as Top Retailers has it. Uh, these statistics reflect the importance of financial education and planning, as well as um, here to offer as much education and knowledge that I can. I share with you in a matter of just a few minutes or so, <laughs> as well as uh, means for policies and initiatives that promote savings and financial stability. People w would need to think that something that they need to accomplish themselves, right? <laughs> Individuals may benefit from budgeting, of course, setting financial goals and exploring st strategies to increase their savings over time. Additionally, policymakers and financial institutions may consider initiatives to address these challenges and promote creative financial well-being among the 
population, if anything, uh, perhaps it's just taking more responsibility of your own actions and uh, perhaps having more control over your budgets and where you, your money is coming in as well as where it's going out, if anything and perhaps uh, uh, <laughs> hoping that someone else will take care of your budget might be not the best strategy uh, in my opinion thanks for watching i'll see you next one